Hey again, guys. It's Guardwolf21 again here with another vaping review for you. So, for this review, we're going to review some more Vape Wild. This is the straight out of donuts. Straight out of donuts. Straight out of donuts. Do the smell flavor. This is a 12 Nick. Max VG. <coughs> it's been sitting for about three weeks now. It's ready to go. They're all ready to go now. So let's smell this. You definitely smell the chocolate and the donut flavor in it. Absolutely perfect. I had a donut flavor a long time ago. I didn't care for. I got a bunch of hate mail and hate messages. Because they thought I was full of crap. I didn't care for it. I didn't like it. Still don't like it. And it was expensive. So. We're going to try this. <clears throat> my little console. My. Baby beast. So I just turned it off. 38. It's hard to see, and it's not going to clear up, but it's 38 watts. So, let's try this out. Clouds are alright. Not the greatest. I give it clouds about three and a half out of five. The taste. Mm, taste is outstanding. There's a slight throat hit on it. This is something though that is really good. There's no aftertaste to it. You know after a while something sits in your mouth. Usually there's an aftertaste. <coughs> You get the chocolate. It's like, and it reminds me of like a chocolate donut. You know, a nice sized chocolate donut with chocolate icing on top. And you bite down on it, and it has the chocolate middle and all that. It's nice. It's really nice and creamy. The icing is right there. And it's, chocolate, I guess, is hard flavor to come by too. A really good chocolate. And this is actually really good. If you like donuts and you want something that's going to taste like a donut and you get that chocolate icing and you it tastes like a chocolate iced donut <clears throat> you let it steep about two three about three four weeks you know two three or four weeks and it changes the color on you it's really good the flavor just pulls out excellent This is another one that I would buy again sometime. This is really good. This is an all-day vape for me. I can vape this all day. I will be vaping it all day sometime because it's full. <clears throat> all right. For our next one here, how about we do some... This is Flintstoned. And it smells like... Uh, Fruity Pebbles with a little bit of ice cream mixed in with it. Turn this on here. We're going to do it on the Segelli 90 watt. <coughs> At 33 watts. And it's a .52 coil in my Tobeka Royal Gold Edition tank. So let's test this out. Clouds are saying 3.5. 
You know the fruity pebbles that you eat with the milk? The only difference is it has a little bit of vanilla ice cream with it. So it's like fruity pebbles on top of vanilla ice cream. You really get the fruity pebble taste flavor to it. It's not overpowering. The lemon's not overpowering in it. It tastes exactly like a fruity pebbles. You barely taste the ice cream though in it. Another all day vape. I would I buy this again? Definitely. Definitely would buy that again. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go on to the very next one. So we have Cowboy Cooler by Vape Wild. And it smells like blueberries and blackberries and different type of berries in here. We got this on the Lazimo. Turn off the light here so y'all can see what wattage it is. Well, maybe. It's hard to see. But it is a 43.5 watts. And it's on my Griffin 25 millimeter dual coils up in here. Coils are a 0.36. So let's try this out. Clouds 3.5 still almost a four. <clears throat> really no throat hit. So the flavor in this, you know, it's leaking a little bit here. Never had a leaking issue. Must not have it tight enough. There we go. It's too loose. It's almost time for me to change my cotton, but the. The flavor in it, it tastes like a bunch of berries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. It's all right. It's not my favorite. You get that coolant sensation like a culotta. It's not a menthol. <clears throat> it's just something I couldn't vape on all day long. It smells great, but it just, it's, the taste is subjective and it's just not for me. It's not my thing. So, on to the next one here. Oh, that's the wrong tank. <laughs> there we go. Spire Alanis. We have on here. Still the same thing, the Lasmo. We're going to do the Peach guava peach guava it went up on my lip there <laughs> smells peachy and it smells guavy guavy let's try this clouds are still 3.5 you definitely get like a fresh peach 
and you get that guava it's mixed in really well or whatever so you're both you're getting both of the flavors and this is actually a 0.29 coil up in here let's turn this up a little bit I'll try 52 watts I love this flavor too. This is a good flavor. Would I vape it all the time? Probably not. I mean, I like the peach and I like the guava, but I don't think I could vape it all the time. If you like peach and guava mixed, this one's definitely for you. I couldn't vape this one all the time though. Wow, I could vape on it. <clears throat> but guys, that's my review of uh, Vape Wild. So far, the straight out of donuts is my favorite out of these. The next would be probably the peach guava, the Flintstone, and at least would be the cowboy cooler. I have a few flavors that I really do like from Bape Wild that I've done reviews on before that I really love. But, but guys, until next time, this is GuardWolf21 with your vaping review. And go check out Vape Wild. Decent prices of 30 mil, $6.99. You spend like $35, I'm thinking, and you get free shipping. You get 630 mils, you get the free shipping, and you get like a vape board juice and a extra juice and the mystery flavor of the month. So you can't beat that. For a 10 mil, it costs you $2.99. Can't beat that price. But guys, until next time, this is Gargoyle21 with your vaping review.